Well, it's time for the children to come forward, and we're going to spend a little time together. Come on up, everybody. Good music, friends. How is everybody today? Good to see you guys. Come on. How are you all? Good, fine. Great day? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very rarely do we get full agreement with what's going on. Well, it's not raining today, is it? Doyle Johnson said, I hadn't been doing my job too well, but okay for today. <laughs> so keep it like today for a while, but not too long, right? Several days. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> we'll look to the Lord. Well, it's great to see all of you. We just confirmed some young people today. Confirm means to strengthen, to make strong. Because there's a word in it, firm, right? Means with firmness, means to strengthen their faith. They were baptized as children, uh, our babies, or uh, Bailey was baptized just last week, so as, as a youth. And so when they're confirmed, uh, it's a way of saying yes to their baptism, strengthening their faith, and uh, taking their faith as their own. Uh, many times we kind of just have the faith of our parents and, and, and we just say, okay, yeah, they believe it, so I believe it. But when you're confirmed, you kind of say, I'm my own church member now. I have the rights and privileges of a church member. I can vote on things. I can go to things. I have to start thinking my own way and have my own thoughts. And so I have to be knowledgeable in my faith, so you have to be your own person. There's a story in the Bible about the need to be your own person and, uh, and not do just what everybody tells you to do or what other people think you should do. Uh, the story is about David, David and Goliath. You ever hear about that story? Goliath was a big giant. David was a youth, maybe like you guys. And uh, he went to bring lunch to his brothers who were in the army. David was just a kid. He wasn't even old enough to be in the army. And they took you pretty young back then, like 12 or 14. And uh, so he wasn't even that old. And he went to take lunch to his brothers. And while he was there, he heard, he heard Goliath come up into the valley. And you know what Goliath said? Fee, fi, fo, fum. Oh, that's the wrong story. But he said something like that. And he challenged them. He challenged the soldiers of Israel. And did all the soldiers of Israel run out to beat them? They all hid in their tents and said, I hope he doesn't see me, that giant out there. And David said, why are you all hiding? Somebody go fight him. He told his brothers, go fight him. And they said, we're not going to go fight him. He said, I'm not scared. The Lord's always with me. And so he went to the king, King Saul. King Saul was six foot six, six foot seven, a big strong guy. He was afraid. He wasn't even going out to fight Goliath. And Saul was a pretty big guy himself, but he wasn't a giant. David said, I'm going to go out and fight him. And he said, no, you're just a boy. You can't do that. And he said, hey, king, oh king, I have fought lions and tigers and bears, oh my, <laughs> and I just go after them, and the Lord helps me, and I know that the Lord helped me fight the lions and tigers and bears, oh and he'll help me fight that giant, and Saul said, all right, but you got to dress as a soldier and go out, otherwise you're just going to be done, and so King Saul, who was like six foot six, David, wow. Do you think that was going to work very well? 
Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Ashley, come on up here. Would you? Come right on up here. It would be like... Am I getting stuck? Caleb. Caleb. We just confirmed Ashley. Caleb. Come right on up here. It would be like you wearing my robe. You think you could wear this all right? Step up here on it so you don't fall or anything. We'll put this on. Put your hands right in the seat. There you go. Well, you look pretty good, I think. Now, you think you could walk around in that real well? Not too good? You think you could uh, pick up a spear or anything with that? Or run or throw a ball or anything with it very well? It's a little big, isn't it? David put the armor on. He even turned his head in the helmet that Saul put on his head. His head turned, but the helmet didn't. He said, I don't think this is going to work. Let's hear it for Caleb. All right. <laughs> David said, you know, I have to be my own person. I realize, King Saul, that you want the best for me, and you want me to be able to do this okay, but I don't think that's going to work. I just have to be myself. And then the Bible says he did what he knew how to do. He took the slingshot, which wasn't one of these. It was one of these. And he got five stones. And he took the slingshot. And did he or Goliath win the battle? David won the, won the battle. Because he was himself. And he trusted in the Lord to help him win the battle. If he would have gone out there like Saul wanted him to, dressed in armor would seem like the right thing, but it wasn't going to work for little David. Uh, just didn't fit. So we have to be ourselves. And we have to do the things that we know are right for us. And that's why it's important to know who you are and what's right for you. And so when friends tell you to do something, you have to think, do I really want to do that? Is that right for me? And what I believe in and what I think. And for those young people that were concerned today, they have to think, what do I stand for? And what's right for me? And not just do something because somebody says to do it, right? And uh, so the Bible gives us a poor lesson to be ourselves. And if we do, God will really help us. All right. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Lord, thanks so much for this day, for making each of us as unique people, individuals just like we are with our own talents and our own gifts and our own likes and dislikes. And we're not like anybody else. We're us. And that's good. And Lord, you made us this way and you love us very much. So help us to always remember to do the right things and to the, do the things that you would like us to do and to follow in your will. Amen. Okay, thank you very much. You can go back to your seats.